Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Parser Iupad, and I'm bringing you guys a brand new Skyblock video today. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Skyblock mods and texture packs, and uh, I'm basically just going to be announcing, not announcing, but discussing all the mods that I have and some texture packs that I have, since I've seen that lots of people are actually quite interested in that. So a couple quick disclaimers. First of all, I will not be linking the mods directly in the description. I will be linking uh, the creators of the mods because there's a lot of account ratting and uh, hacking going on, so I don't really want to be a part of that. Also, I'm not going to be discussing the mods too in-depth because I know Hellcastle has some really, really good mod videos and he discusses them more in-depth. So if you guys want to go check that out, that'll also be in the link in the description. This video is just going to be talking about my mods pretty quickly. Okay, so the first mod that I use is Skyblock add-ons and the way to use this mod is just to do slash SBA and you have all of these features. Um, it's one of the more OG mods and it was made by Biscuit back in June of 2019. Has a lot of cool features, uh, some important features being like the zealot counter you see on the top right, there's an endstone protector counter, there's a locking mechanism which is extremely important, it also has rainbow custom enchants which is super cool, and just a lot of other GUIs that really help you out in the game and honestly I think this mod is essential. Okay so the second mod that we're going to be talking about is NEU or not enough updates. This mod was made by Mulberry and honestly this is my favorite mod that I own. It has some insane features that no other mod has and I'll quickly show you guys some of them. So slash NEU uh, just shows you all the features. It has tons of overlays and important things. But I'd say the main feature that this mod has is the slash PV feature. You just use slash PV in any player and it basically brings up this huge GUI menu that shows all of their stats, their skills, their slayers. It shows their dungeons, everything about their dungeons, their purse, even their guild when they join Skyblock. And just a bunch of other statistics. It shows their inventory and accessory bags and basically all of their GUIs and of course their pets. So that's probably the coolest part of this mod. Another really, really cool part of this mod that I want to showcase is actually NEU Customize. So when you hold an item and you do slash NEU Customize, it actually brings up this huge custom menu and you can customly name anything. Uh, it's super cool. Like let's say I want to name this like just Necron and I can add an enchant glint. I can customize the enchant glint. I can customize the leather color. I can even add stars to it. Yes, I can literally, I can add stars. It is the coolest thing ever. And uh, it just customizes it basically, which is the coolest thing ever. So yeah, those are the main features of NEU. I'd really recommend getting this mod. The only issue with it is it can be laggy sometimes, so lower NPCs probably shouldn't have this mod downloaded. So the next mod that we're going to be talking about is Skytills. Now this mod I think is a little bit less used, but it actually has some really, really cool features. So we just type slash Skytills here. Um, one of my favorite features with Sky Tilts is that it has key shortcuts. So basically, you can set a command to any key and it works. So for example, for my pets menu, slash pets, it's P, and you just click P, and it brings up my pets menu. Um, now, this isn't bannable, just letting you guys know. This isn't considered really anything bannable, so it is completely safe to use. It also has a bunch of uh, other stuff. It doesn't. It, it mostly copies things from a lot of other mods. Not copies, but it has a lot of things from other mods. But it has some specific features that are very important. So I would recommend Sky Tills. Um, one of my favorite features that it has is Stop Salvage feature. It basically, just stops you from salvaging uh, rare items or even from dropping rare items. If I try to drop this, Sky Tills literally doesn't allow it. That's got like add-ons, but. It won't allow it. See, Sky tells it stop you from dropping that item. This is very important for clumsy people like me. So yeah, overall, Sky tells a great mod, and I would recommend it. Now, a little bit of a uh, less important mod, I would say, but still really, really cool, and I think a lot of my viewers will like it, is the Dungeons Waypoint mod. Now, it isn't actually called the Dungeons Waypoint mod. I believe this mod is called the Dungeons Room mod. And basically, all it does is it just shows you guys uh, the secrets of the dungeon. Uh, so I can quickly just show you guys. So just starting up the dungeon here, and as you can see, all of these secrets are waypointed, so it's super cool. So if I want to go, say, to this channel, Chest. I just follow the secret and here we go and it highlights the chest again This is not bannable if any of you guys were wondering this is completely allowed on the server So the final mod that we're gonna be talking about I'm sure many many people have heard of and that is skyblock extras made by complex origin now This mod does actually cost five USD But that really isn't that much money when you think about it Like if you just skip a McDonald's you can get this mod and it is extremely useful now, I obviously can't cover every feature because it just has hundreds and hundreds of them. But some of the main, main features that it has are lots and lots and lots of counters and um, 
GUIs that show you things. So for example, shows you your dragon loot. If I toggle, let's say my dragon counter. If I toggle my dragon counter, it basically just uh, shows me over here. This isn't obviously, I haven't set this up, but it shows me my dragons since superior, my drag pet, which I've never gotten, I'm sad. And just a bunch of other things. And this actually works for basically everything you'd ever need a counter for fishing, dragons, golems, bunch of other stuff. It also has some of the best dungeon solvers, and personally, I use all SBE dungeon solvers. And it even has something that basically tells you the score 100% accurately. You can set it to tell you 270 score, and you can set it to tell you 300 score, and it actually even notifies you in the chat if you want. It could send a message in the chat saying 300 score, which I just find to be the coolest thing ever. And the final thing that's super cool about SBE, and I personally love, is the name colors. So as you can see, if I go on tab here, my name is actually pink, and uh, I've bought that. So it does cost money to have custom name colors, but it's just so cool. The fact that you can have name colors is super customizable and cool, and uh, you guys should get SBE so you can see my pink name. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about some other mods that aren't really Skyblock mods, but they're more GUI mods. The first mod, I'm sure many people know about this, but that is Patcher. Patcher is extremely useful, and it's great for FPS, it's great for making your Minecraft look better and feel better, and I would definitely recommend Patcher. It's honestly a must-have for FPS. The next little GUI mod that we're going to be talking about is Essentials. So this mod, I don't even know what it does personally, but it gives you cosmetics, and that is cool. So as you guys can see, these are my cosmetics. I paid a lot of money for these. But there are actually free cosmetics. We open the menu here. It has all of these cosmetics. As you can see, tons and tons, pages of cosmetics. And often people ask me, hey, how do you get your cosmetics? Essentials is how I get my cosmetics. So a couple of other quick, quick run through mods. The first mod, scrollable tooltips. As you can see here, I can scroll up and down on weapons. C can come extremely useful when you're trying to see stuff on the AH uh, when it's too big. The next mod is high tills. Now high tills is an actually extremely important mod that I didn't have for the longest time. And what this is, is basically just a mod just designed for high pixel. So it makes chat better. It makes game better. It mutes things personally in high pixel makes everything generally better and it is an amazing mod and I actually see lots of people asking me in streams about like what mod does that and it's actually probably Hytales. It has a lot of GUI features, it makes your chat look better mostly and it even has a feature where when you log on to Minecraft and you open your game up for the first time it automatically logs into Hypixel. Now before I end this video just in case you guys forget. Optifine is a must have, so just download Optifine and throw it in your folder. And while we're speaking of that, if you guys don't know how to download mods, it is with Forge, of course, Forge Client. Uh, I won't be doing a tutorial. Again, I'll link Hellcastle's video on uh, how to download mods, and he has a little bit more in-depth videos, so if you guys are more curious on what the mods do, you can go ahead and check him out. And now, finally, I said that I was going to talk about some texture packs, so I'll quickly review some of my personal texture packs. Currently, I'm using 30 Viruses Texture Pack. I really like this look. It's a more bright texture pack and a more faithful theme. Another texture pack I use quite often is the Prism Pack for Refraction. It's 250k pack. This is the pack. Um, I don't like this one as much, but I like to change it up sometimes. So I run this pack too. And generally, lots of it thing, uh, most of its things are really cool still. And finally, undoubtedly, my favorite pack is Defrosted by Lushi, and this is the pack that basically all the YouTubers use. Like, if you look at Death Streaks or most of the bigger YouTubers, they use Defrosted, so I'm sure you guys have seen this before. But it is my favorite pack, too, and I use it most of the time. It's just super clean and simple. Love the swords, love the look. And uh, there's also a snowy version and a pink version too. And yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it wasn't too in depth with the mods because I just didn't want to go in depth when there are lots of other YouTubers that go in depth. But lots of people has been ask have been asking for what mods I use, so I wanted to make a video on it. We're also really, really getting close to 1,000 subscribers, and at 1,000 subscribers, we're gonna be doing a 100 million coin giveaway in my Discord server. So make sure to enter that. Uh, my Discord server links will be down below, and all the links to all the mods and texture packs that I talked about in this video will also be in the description down below. But anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good day. Peace.